in the event that time travel is conceivable, for what reason haven't we met any time travelers? This was the inquiry Stephen Hawking progressed on the point of time twists. Be that as it may, it misses something, imagine a scenario in which we have met time travelers without knowing it. For sure on the off chance that we've met them, however didn't trust them? As the world denotes the death of Back to the Future's anecdotal future, it has practically overlooked a considerably less renowned arrangement of forecasts which began 16 years prior one month from now. It was in the year 2000, on November 2nd, that a man calling himself John Titter signed on to a dark web talk board and posted this message. Quote. Welcome. I am a time traveler from the year 2036. I am en route home in the wake of getting an IBM 5100 PC framework from the year 1975. My time machine is a stationary mass, worldly removal unit made by General Electric. The unit is controlled by two best turned double positive singularities that create a standard offset hypolar sinusoid. I will be glad to post photos of the unit. Inquiries took after. Titter addressed them, some bountifully some obscurely. Furthermore, he did in fact post photos of his machine, mounted, as Back to the Futures, in an auto, however it was a 1967 Chevrolet as opposed to a DeLorean. Between November 2000 and March 2001, he addressed numerous more inquiries. At a certain point he was even met on a national talk radio show. He portrayed his time machine in detail, notwithstanding posting photos of its client's manual. A little web religion grew up around him. At that point one day he was gone, leaving his acolytes to pick over the remaining parts. Today, there are little sanctums to his name the whole way across the web. Be that as it may, who was he truly? Titter's real target was the year 1975, he was making a stop over in 2000 for individual reasons. He was an individual from a military unit entrusted with recovering things from the past which could help get society recovered. A common war in the United States had set off a constrained atomic trade with Russia in 2015, which slaughtered almost 3 million individuals. In the repercussions, life had come back to something more like what Republican survivalists envisioned America ought to be. Quote. In 2036. I live in Foco, Florida with my family and I'm right now positioned at an army base in Tampa. The general population that survived developed nearer together. Life is fixated on the family and after that the group. I can't envision living even a couple of hundred miles far from my folks. There is no extensive mechanical complex making masses of feudal nourishment and recreational things. Nourishment and animals is developed and sold locally. Individuals invest considerably more energy perusing and talking together eye to eye. Religion is considered important and everybody can increase and separation in their heads. Then again, despite everything they had web. A lot of individuals were doubtful of this, yet Titter didn't generally mind. My objective isn't to be trusted, he said. Maybe I should let all of you in on somewhat mystery. Nobody likes you later on. This day and age is taken a gander at as being loaded with sluggish, conceited, communally insensible sheep. Maybe you ought to be less worried about me and more worried about that. Between such shriveling asides, he offered some guidance. Learn fundamental sanitation, he said. Figure out how to shoot and clean a weapon. Consider what you would convey with you in the event that you needed to leave your home in ten minutes and stay away for the indefinite future. He even talked about the likelihood of bringing volunteers with him, on the off chance that he could. Quote. For every one of you keen on returning with me to 2036, maybe we ought to talk about the trek. Kindly no, the uprooting unit travels through time, not space. Initially, we will drive the present vehicle, Chevy truck, with the uprooting unit in it to Tampa, Florida. From that point. We will backpedal to my entry date on this world line. At that point we should drive to Minnesota, offer the present vehicle and get another that would have been around in 1975. We will then move the relocation unit, 500 pounds or thereabouts, into the new vehicle and backpedal to 1975. Once in 1975, 
we'll drive back to Tampa and make the last bounds to 2036. On the off chance that you'd get a kick out of the chance to remain in 1975, the pleasure is all mine. It can likewise get very hot and stuffy amid the outing and you'll be subjected to a 1.5 to 2G compel the whole time. You'll additionally require some kind of a rebreather framework or oxygen supply. The mechanics of an excursion are depicted in more detail here. It was these sort of points of interest which gave a sheen of credibility to Titter's wild claims. There was only something about them which was persuading, sufficiently grimy to appear to be genuine, bound with recently enough techno babble to persuade a lay science fan. Affirm, I can detect you feigning exacerbation. Be that as it may, you need to comprehend, this was an alternate time. In 2015, the web is totally interwoven with our genuine lives, we meet future associates on Twitter and send old-fashioned companions Joe tagged photographs before checking our messages on the prepare. Yet, in the year 2000 there were no cell phones, no online networking. The frosty blue gleam of the CRT screen was an entrance into a different universe completely, enormous, strange, and with no settled personalities. In this liminal put, one where, as the New Yorker once put it, no one knew you were a pooch, the possibility of a time traveler posting on a release load up practically appeared to be conceivable. And after that there was his purpose behind voyaging. Titter asserted he had been sent back to 1975 to recover an IBM 5100 PC, which was expected to investigate maturing machines still utilized as a part of 2036. That in itself isn't excessively wacky. In 2002, NASA needed to purchase obsolete medicinal gear on eBay to make sure it could rummage their out of date Intel 8086 chips for their supporter testing machines, and even the Orion rocket, whose initially kept an eye on flight as planned for the 2020s, utilizes PCs from 2002. In any case, here's the kicker. Titter asserted the 5100 was required later on because of a unique element which IBM did not openly declare. Beyond any doubt enough, Bob Dubk, a designer who helped plan it, affirmed that such a component existed. The 5100 had the uncommon capacity to copy programs in more seasoned dialects utilized by IBM centralized computers, however the organization was stressed over how its opposition may utilize it, and told no one. So Titter was no less than an extremely all-around educated hoaxer, a PC researcher or a fan who utilized his insight well. For a couple of years, John Titter's legend passed around the net, drawing power from the neurosis of the Bush years. An organization called the John Titter Foundation, enlisted in Florida, began offering stock and even a book called John Titter, A Time Traveler's Tale. There was a short period where his expectations weren't yet due and where they could even now in fact materialize. However, at that point 2004 arrived and there was no respectful war. The Olympics that year were not drop. Western dependability did not crumple the year after, and distraught dairy animal's illness did not wind up noticeably uncontrolled. What's more, the president in 2005 did not attempt frantically to be the following Lincoln. The president in 2005 was George W. Shrubbery. After the disappointment of these expectations, the vast majority of the titter action online subsided. In any case, not every last bit of it. In 2009, a report by John Hugston, who runs the hoax hunter site, named Larry Haber, a Florida excitement legal advisor, and John Rick Haber, his PC researcher sibling, as the men behind John Titter. Larry Haber is the CEO of the John Titter Foundation, and an IP address associated with Titter focuses to a similar town in which he enlisted it. A private criminologist contracted by an Italian TV organization inferred that John Rick, with his assumed PC information, was the guilty party. Also, Titter's name had really been first utilized as a part of 1998, with an alternate arrangement of forecasts counting turmoil caused by the Y2K bug. Larry evidently cases to be the legal counselor for John Titter's mom. So Titter wasn't right, and there's a reasonable possibility for his genuine personality. Riddle explained. Not as indicated by a few fans. Titter's compositions contained a get-out statement. 
essentially by going back, he stated, he had made another world line, particular from the one in which he grew up. There was no assurance that they'd take after a similar way. Indeed, he had officially seen a few changes, news occasions that occur at various circumstances, football games won by different groups, things like that. He put the fleeting uniqueness between this world line and his own particular at one or two for each penny, yet cautioned, the more I am here, the bigger that difference moves toward becoming. In this account, the Habers truly were simply family companions. Maybe Titter remained at their home for some time. Also, when he cleared out, they were moved to keep his memory alive, in the expectation of changing what's to come. It's hard to believe, but it's true. Just by posting on the web about the coming war, John Titter may really have turned away it, and no one can demonstrate something else. As one site puts it, that we can control the result of our world line among the numerous conceivable outcomes in the multiverse, is maybe the most critical message Titter gave us. So perhaps as opposed to groveling over a trade-out science fiction continuation, you should express gratitude toward John Titter. You careless, wanton sheep.